Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Pico, and I make videos of art, cozy gameplays, desk setup, and keyboards. This video has been weeks of making, and I'm so excited to show you guys what I've been working on. So let's get right into it. You know we all have that friend that is obsessed about a certain kind of food? For me, I have a friend who is obsessed with mushrooms. I personally love mushroom as a food and as a plant as well. I mean, who wouldn't? It's funky, comes in all sorts of colors and shapes, and they're delicious. Well, some of them, some of them you probably shouldn't eat. Anyway, because of that, I've decided to make some mushroom figures just for fun. I thought I would do a normal shaped mushroom as a starter. I pulled up a couple pictures of mushrooms on the internet to study the shape. And then I started to make a sketch. I was having a little too much fun doing the sketch. I even went into coloring and shading the character, which is completely unnecessary. But this whole thing wasn't necessary if you think about it. We're just having some fun here. After I finished the sketch, I brought it into Blender to do some blockout modeling to get some basic shapes down. After I finished blocking out, I smoothed out the shapes and exported it to 3D print. I wanted to model a small one that I could test print quickly. The first print went pretty well, but I decided it was too small and I wanted it to stand on the base. So I went back to the model and made those adjustments. I put together all the parts and was pretty happy with the final print. I made 4 sketches of types of mushrooms that I personally like a lot, which are cane, morel, oyster, and manita. When I was sketching them, I imagined they all have different personalities. The king mushroom is proud and chubby. The morale is weird and mysterious. The oyster is playful and curious. And the amanita is arrogant and distant. When I started editing this video, I realized I was too focused on making the king mushroom and only recorded my modeling process for it. I printed several of them and optimized the model a couple times before making the final version. I decided that he is too chubby to have a second leg showing and he has a royal blue color cap instead of a beige color because it is more suitable for a king. I have also decided not to model the crown and the cape just yet. I'll be adding the accessories later on for another version. Moving on to the morel mushroom, I was super excited about modeling for this guy because it is so unique looking with all the dentures on the cap. I decided to use freehand sculpting to give it a little more organic look. This is actually my first time to do freehand sculpting in Blender, and I was surprised by how well it turns out.
For figures that have tiny legs, I had to model the base separately for them to have a better contact surface to stand on. By the way, if you want to see more videos like this, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Out of all these models, the most difficult one to do was the oyster mushroom. Mostly because of its complexity in geometry, and I have to model it in such a way that it still resembles the real thing, but printable at the same time. Compared to the other mushrooms, this one took me the longest to design, model, and print. The print took a little more than 5 hours and used a lot of support materials. It is also a little tricky to clean up the support because I yanked it a little too hard and one of the branches snapped off and I ended up having to reprint it. After a third try, I finally end up with a clean model with some light sanding and I'm super happy with how it turned out. Amanita was such a fun one to model because of his huge cap with little bumps. These mushrooms are poisonous and not edible, but it usually comes in vibrant colors and super pretty to look at. The stem is usually quite skinny with curved shapes, and I try to model it in the same way. I ended up changing the color to purple instead of the original color, which is red, because I felt like it's more fun because I already had a red one printed. After finishing printing off them, I tested out different ways to put extra colors on them for their faces and features. I carefully use markers to draw their faces, but because I have shaky hands, I messed up some of them and ended up having to reprint them. And then I noticed them rubbing off the model the next day because the marker didn't bond well with the plastic. So I started to experiment with resin to seal up the marker. During this process, I realized that it is very tricky and difficult to work with resin on small figures like this. So shout out to all the resin craft artists who made it look so easy. When I was doing this, I remembered that I got some mica powder from last Christmas as a gift, but I haven't used it all year. So I decided to give it a try. I'm so glad that I tried this because it gave the finish such a pretty shimmery look and I love it so much. For the Amanita mushroom, I decided to use acrylic to paint the white dots on the cap instead of using resin 
I thought it would look more organic and closer to the real thing. And there you go of the making of the mushroom figures. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite and if you have any ideas you would love to see in the future videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye!